everyone. Let's take a look at diagnosing keyword cannibalization using the Google Search Console. All right, so I've pulled up an old site that needs a lot of love and care because it's dying or dead at this point, but I want to use this to show you what it actually looks like in the back end of Google Search Console and how do you know if your site has keyword cannibalization. If you missed it, check out the video of key, how to find keyword cannibalization using Ahrefs. All right, let's just dive right into this one. So I pulled up a site in the back end of Google Search Console, and I'm looking at the last three months. I like to look at the most relevant last three months. However, if I find keyword cannibalization, I will then move back to six months and just make sure I've caught every instance of keyword cannibalization. But how do you know if the site even has keyword cannibalization? So let's take a look. The first thing you're going to do is pull it up. You're going to look at the last, you're going to set your date for the last three months, click apply. And then you're going to scroll down to where it says queries. And that's what you're going to take a look at. So you can see that this one is retaining wall Austin. That's a query that had some impressions and I clicked on it. And what I'm going to do next, after I've clicked on Retaining Wall Austin, I am now going to click on Pages. And what I'm looking for is, is there one page showing for this query or, or are there multiple? For this particular query, it only had 21 impressions. And the only page that shows up with impressions is the home page. So that is not showing keyword cannibalization. So I'll click out of that one. I cleared it of that query and I'm going to look at retaining walls, Kyle TX. And again, once you pull up the query, you're going to click on pages. Now, this one shows a little bit more interesting because the first page that's gaining the most impressions is the blog page. The second page that's gaining less impressions is the home page. This is showing keyword cannibalization because the landing page of the site is the home page. It should be the home page for this particular keyword. However, the impressions, more impressions are being gained on the actual blog page. Now, it is rare that you would want a blog page as your local landing page for a website. So this is keyword cannibalization and it's showing the blog page more than it's showing the home page. So what you're looking for when you click on pages is do you have more than one page that shows up? And if that more than one page shows up, are they gaining impressions? Do they have more impressions than the actual intended page that should be ranking? If they have less impressions, are they having click-throughs to that page? If, for instance, the home page had more impressions here than the blog page, I would still check the blog page to see, but is it getting click-throughs? If they're getting click-throughs and they have impressions, there's something going on on that page that is cannibalizing the home page. So then you would start going to the blog page and finding what is causing this to remove it. But this video is strictly about how to spot it. So I'm not going to go through how to fix it. So if you want to clear out retaining walls, Kyle, Texas, you would X out, go back to queries, and then you can check another term, retaining walls, Austin. When I look for impressions, I click on pages, only the home page pops up. Nothing else is coming up. So this shows no keyword cannibalization for those particular queries. I can check a few more retaining walls. Kyle, check. again, you always have to click on pages and I'm looking to see who has the most impressions. Is it the landing page? Are there other pages that have impressions, but not the most, but just a few? And do, are they getting click throughs to that page? If so, you're going to want to investigate. Now you always know what the landing page of your website should be. So if the landing page should be the home page, but your blog is getting impressions, and in this case, more impressions than the home page, then you have a keyword cannibalization problem. Now, what if it was just getting impressions, but less impressions than the landing page? I would still check it out to make sure you do not have 
problems on the blog page that would cannibalize the home page. So even if it's getting impressions, but less impressions and no click throughs, I would still check it out to make sure there's nothing you need to clean up because Google, for whatever reason, likes that particular page for that keyword and you need to straighten it out. Now we're, we've looked at the three months and I did find keyword cannibalization. There's also another way. So I took a look at the queries and I started clicking on them. But what if you have a query that you don't see here right away and you want to check it out? You type up here where it says new, you click on query, you click on queries exact, exact query, and then you type in what, it, what you're looking for. So let's just say I'm looking for retaining walls. Hopefully I can spell today. Yes, I can. So I'm looking for uh, retaining walls. It pulls up no data because that wasn't gaining impressions. So I'm going to X out and I'm going to do the exact query of retaining walls. Or how about Kyle retaining walls? And then click apply. And again, it wasn't gaining any data. So I'm not going to be able to take a look at it, but this is how you type in any query exact match that you're looking to diagnose. Let me try retaining walls. Kyle, that one does have some data. Again, once you pull it up, exact query, you're gonna click on pages. And you really just kind of want to see one page listed there, but a lot of times we see multiple. And then you're gonna look at which page is gaining the most impressions. Hopefully it's your landing page. In this case, it was not. But even if it's gaining the most impressions, are there other pages gaining impressions that shouldn't be? You need to go ahead and check that out. If they're gaining impressions and click-throughs, you have a really big problem that you need to fix. If a page is just gaining a small amount of impressions and no click-throughs, sometimes you can see that and it's not cannibalizing your keyword, but you want to check it out to see if there's any fixes that you need to put in place just in case so that it doesn't ramp up later and begin to gain more impressions and more click-throughs. So bottom line, when you click on a query and you check to see which pages show up for that query, you want one page to show up. But nine times out of 10, you're gonna have multiple pages show up. You wanna make sure your landing page is gaining the most impressions and the most click-throughs. And if other pages are gaining impressions, but no click-throughs, you still wanna check it out, but it's not a case uh, of an emergency, let's say. So there's nothing really or much to worry about for keyword cannibalization, but you do want to check it out. Next, if it's gaining impressions in some clicks, but the landing page is still gaining more, you still want to check out the other page because with time it can gain and become more of a keyword cannibalization problem than you want to deal with. So you want to catch it quick and early so that you can turn it around pretty fast. And if you catch keyword cannibalization in the last three months, go ahead and do some searches in the last six months. Sometimes in the last six months, it will pull different data than the three months. And you might be able to see like in this particular case. So I did six months back and I see that the homepage six months ago was actually gaining the most impressions, which is good. But the Contact Us page was gaining some impressions, which isn't good and something that I needed to check out. And then I've got the blog page gaining impressions slowly. So what this is telling me is that the, home, the landing page gained more impressions, but the Contact Us page was a problem six months ago. And I should have, uh, the blog was only gaining a small amount of portions of impressions, not portions, and no clicks. However, you just saw with the three months that I checked, the blog page is now gaining more impressions than the home page. So by looking back six months ago, I could have caught this at that point if I had been working on the site. And the home page at this point would have gained the most impressions and the most clicks. However, the contact us page in the last six months corrected itself. They realized it wasn't the best page for that particular keyword. Or I did some work on the contact us page, which I don't think I did in this case, and changed something so that the contact us page was not is no longer an issue. So if you find keyword cannibalization at three months, Go back and take a look at the six-month mark. 
you might see different data to help you fix what's going on. So at this point, I would still look at the contact us page and I would definitely look at the blog page because as you saw with the, the last three months, the blog page has now picked up more impressions than the home page. So there is definitely an issue with the blog page, probably also an issue with the contact us page. Now that's how you find keyword cannibalization on any site in Google Search Council. In this particular case, I used a local site. However, finding keyword cannibalization is the exact same way, even if this was an affiliate site. So again, in case you missed it, go to queries, find your query or type your query in as exact match, the exact query, type it in. Once you've typed it in or clicked on it, you're going to click on pages. If you see more than one page listed, you need to take a look at them to see what's going on. But keep in mind who's gaining the most impressions, who's gaining the most click-throughs, and then go investigate some of the other pages that are gaining impressions that might become a bigger problem later or you might have a really big problem now and find out that the page that's gaining the most impressions and click-throughs is a page that shouldn't even be ranking for that particular keyword. So this is how this is how I use Google Search Console to find keyword cannibalization. I hope this helped. This works on any type of site, local, affiliate, e-com, big brand, whatever type of site you have or whatever you call it. This is how you find keyword cannibalization using Google Search Console. I hope this helps and I'll see you guys in the next video.